Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crossroads Caravan. This is Cavendry Scout. We're gonna be playing more Fallout New Vegas. What's that, Antler? We have a visitor. An assassin more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Oh. Uh hi, He's human. talking to the skull. Why you come here? I came here on the behalf of ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Yeah. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Uh, maybe I can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of mm. stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. I'll find the stealth boy stockpile for you if your kin will leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. <laughs> Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Now hang on, see if we can... Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? No sign of stockpile yet. All right. Stealth boy. Alright, let's get in here and come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. What up? Who the hell are you? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons, huh? And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Alright, well, um, how'd you end up trapped down here, huh? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, alright? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work. When those things attacked us, hmm. most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. Yeah. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. And a story. Yeah. You don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group either. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? A little bit. I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking goulettes in it. Huh? Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, <laughs> I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. How have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't mm. say it's been comfy. Yeah, I can help you get out of this. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. Mm. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. Okay. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I'll try to find your friend. Thanks. 
Let me know what you find out. Alright, let's go talk to him one more time. Hey, you. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Sorry, no signs of stockpile. What the fuck? <clears throat> okay, well, I'm gonna go in here and get that fucking invoice then so they can leave. Did you find my friend? No, I haven't found her. Yeah. Disarm. Of course, there's a bomb in the back. Rear panel. My fucking legs blown off. I need I was like I just need the invoice what are you doing all right because this is bullshit and there's no other way past him he's now fucking goo that's what I think you Harlan sacrifice of one for the good of many I ain't playing that shit man All you have to do is let me up to this one terminal. Shipment sent back, I'm guessing. We're sending back two crates of devices labeled stealth boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained one cruise. It's a real result. Misbehavior. Not mine. <laughs> Some people have been fucking around with stealth boys. Tee hee. That's awesome. Well, Harlan, it didn't have to end that way. If that's, uh. He didn't have to make it end that way. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? There is no stock boy, uh, stealth boys in this building. Liar! The invoice said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. I just checked the stealth. the invoice itself. The stealth boys were sent here by mistake, then sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. <laughs> Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Night King will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Not a problem. Oh, he took his skull. He took Antler. Boone, will you get the fuck out of his way? Thank you. <laughs> Alright. It's back here. Yeah. Fuck that is. Alright, let's get up out of here and talk to the ghouls. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, his whole clan's now just leaving. Cool, so I saved a shit ton of ghouls, and I saved a shit ton of uh, Nightkin. So if I ever run into the Nightkin again, they owe me one. <laughs> I helped you guys find all those stealth boys. This place is a fucking horror show, though. I'm not gonna lie. Hello. Hey there. Jason, where you at? Your demons are gone, buddy. Jason? Ah. Is the way clear? Demons are all gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. 
The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. Hey, I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Go down to the basement. Have myself a time. They got spacings. Zip zap, there's spaceman. Sorry. Get <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are they messing around with like a giant thing of radiation? What's going on right now? Is this way? Yeah, because now that floor is opened up. This was not opened up before. It's a pack of smoke, so I'm gonna grab that shit. It's a random fucking pack of cigarettes. Well, if I ever need parts, this is where I'll come. That's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, found me a little sewer. Take me away. That is definitely a parts area. All caps. Reloading bench. Actually, make some ammo here. Apparently, I just need a repair to be up way higher. And gunpowder. <laughs> I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad. That is a wanderer. rocket behind you. I want you launch to know pad. that we will ha. remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold uh, of the space. great journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. <laughs> yeah, I bet. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. All right. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to take the great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision Man. upon vision has confirmed it. All right. Those, yeah, those rockets will convey your flock straight into the ground. <laughs> I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. All right, but man. The creator's will for us has been made manifest. Fuck. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. Okay. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your redeemers both. Damn, dude. So you're gonna leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. 
You've been using... That's despicable. It is the Creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. Whatever, dude. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Hey, hello. That's mine. I now have a spacesuit. Hey. Hey, Jason. Jason says that I am to cooperate there with you Chris, on the final sorry. tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Yeah. What do you need? Or how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. Okay. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Damn. Alright. Um, I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Um... Any tips where I should find that shit? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east oh. that are supposed to be highly radioactive. There we go. Thank you very much. So it's to the east we go. The you guys have a good morning, good evening, or good night. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. It always means the world to me. And as always, this has been Scavenger Scout, and we are signing out.